All right, so we're going to go through the stage 18 vocabulary right now. So, audio audere, not to be confused with audio audere, which is to hear. This is a second conjugation verb, to dare. Like, how dare you do that? Caput capitis. This is a third declension neuter noun, meaning the head. So this is the part of your body. We get the word capital and obviously decapitate from it. Coipi is a weird looking verb. It is a <clears throat> verb that you only find in the perfect tense. It means I began. Cognosco, cognoscere, cognoi. It's a third conjugation verb, meaning to know, to get to know or to find out. Dea dei, you guys should be able to guess this one. Yes, it is a goddess. It's the first declension feminine noun, and it's obviously related to the Latin noun Deus, which is, for anyone interested, related to the Greek word Zeus. Uh, Z, D and Z get to interchanged a lot, so that's where we get the word God from. Demonstro, demonstrare, demonstrawi. Pretty easy to pick out this one. Exactly. It's to point out or to show. It's first conjugation verb. Demonstrate is a, a, obviously a derivative from it. Discedo, discedere, discesi. It's a third conjugation verb meaning to depart or to, to, to leave. Fortasse is the first of several adverbs in this chapter. And this one means perhaps. Perhaps I will give you a good grade. Perhaps I won't. Frango, frangere, freggi. This is one of my favorite words. It's a third conjugation verb to break. Frangible is the one word that we get from it. it. Just when you say it, frango, frangere, freggi, you just hear things shattering in the background. Ibi, another one of those adverbs. This one means there. So it's similar to ubi, meaning where, but this is pointing out a place, there. Libenter. Is another adverb meaning gladly. Manus manus. This is one of our, we, our new fourth declension nouns. It's got the US in our genitive. So it's a fourth declension feminine noun. It means either a hand or a band of soldiers. You can think of a band of soldiers as five guys working together. Um, we get manufacture, manacle, manicure, all from this word. We'll, for right now, we'll translate it as a hand, but eventually we'll, we'll, you'll see it used in one of the stories as a band of soldiers. Miles militis. This is an important one. You're going to need to know this one for the rest of your time here in Latin. It's a soldier. Militate. It's a, a derivative from it. This is a third declension masculine noun. Remember, third declensions got always have the is in the genitive singular. Nam. Not to be confused with yam, this is an adverb meaning for. Nemo neminis. Now in your book it only shows you nemo, but this word is a noun. It's a third declension masculine noun, meaning no one. Uh, you, it's the combination of non plus homo, so no man. And yes, finding nemo is a play off of this meaning, finding no one. Nox noctis. This one should be an easy one to kind of guess. If you think of nocturnal, it's the third declension feminine noun meaning night. So we get equinox, noctambulism, which is just sleepwalking, and then nocturnal. And obviously the antonym is DASDE. Obsto, obstare, obstiti is a first conjugation verb to obstruct or to block the way. Now this is a plus dative, so it doesn't have a regular accusative object. It's the preposition ob plus sto. And obviously an obstacle comes from this word. Pars partis is an easy one to guess. It just means part. So partial or to pars come from it. Peto, petere, petiwi is a third conjugation verb to beg for or to ask for. So a petition is someone asking for signatures. Postea is another one of our adverbs meaning afterwards. Obviously, we see the connection where it comes with post. And postremo 
is another adverb meaning finally or at last, or lastly, again from pro post. Pricidium pricidi is a, one of our new neuter nouns. It's a second declension neuter noun meaning protection. Pro is our, a preposition. It's plus ablative, so it's not like the the other, like odd or in, which take an accusative. This one is one that takes an ablative. It means in front of or on behalf of. Quo is a new question word. Where or where to. Recuso, recusare, recusawi. It, it's a new first conjugation word meaning to refuse. So we get the um, derivative recusant from it. Sacer, sacra, sacrum should be one that you can probably guess its definition. It's sacred, exactly. It's a it's a two one two adjective. So sacristy or sacrilege come from it. Sawio, sawire, saiwi. It's a fourth conjugation verb meaning to be in a rage. And there you have it. Those are your ver your words for stage eighteen.